Ah, another day, another sip of Dr. Pepper. Boy, oh boy. The world is closing in on full-blown uh, clown village. Anyway, here's uh, everybody's going nuts today about the uh, uh, vaccination stuff, which I think is absolutely hilarious. Because I'm sitting here going, hey, if you get vaccinated, you don't have to worry about it. Well, old Charles Barkley here. You know, he's got an opinion about everything. I, you, you gotta love Chuck. He's uh, he's just something else. So anyway, he's uh, out here today with Charles Barkley unloads on unvaccinated people. Train of thoughts. I don't know who that is, but anyway. <laughs> Maybe that's the chick from here at Scottsdale. Ah! <sighs> All right, an interview with CNBC, NBA analysis, unload on people who are not vaccinated and weighed in on specifically on athletes who had not gotten jabbed. Isn't that weird that we call it the jabbed? The jabbed. <laughs> the, the jab. <laughs> hey, those people uh, aren't vaccinated. They're just, you think uh, Barkley just said a-holes? <laughs> ha Barkley expanded on their straightforward point saying, <clears throat> shoot it. <clears throat> Can you imagine one of these guys that are not vaccinated? If they got one of these players' kids, wives, girlfriends, moms, and dads sick, and they die over some unnecessary conspiracy bull stuff, I think that would be tragic. Okay, but if you're vaccinated, you don't have to worry about the other people, right? I mean... You're walking around. You like have an invisible mask on. You got a, uh, a force field around you. You're safe from all this stuff. Like you have the chicken pox. You ain't getting chicken pox again. That's how it always worked out with me. The polio. We don't have polio because people got vaccinated for polio. So the people that are vaccinated, they can go swimming. And the people that weren't vaccinated, they couldn't go swimming. Oh my gosh. Because evidently polio uh, spread through water. At least they thought it did. I don't know. I don't care. I'm not worried about it. I don't swim. Um, it's just that. As for leagues stacking the deck in order to convince players to get vaccinated, Barkley said, well, that's stuff you can't do at work, and there's stuff that you have to do at work. So every workplace has rules, and I think one of those rules should be that guys have to be vaccinated. Here's the thing. It's not a vaccination yet, though, Charles. It is a study still. Until it gets uh, full FDA and um, uh, approval on it, the people that do not get vaccinated are in a control group, so to speak. Um, No sports fan wants uh, vaccines to be the biggest story of each day, but here we are. Now, 17 months into the pandemic, we're still getting a story about uh, players testing positive for COVID-19 and refusing to take the vaccine. Um, you know, black people aren't taking the vaccine and, um, you know, uh, they're smart people. <laughs> I mean, I mean that too. Uh, they, they are not as a culture. They're not very trusting. Uh, we are, uh, uh, if y'all aren't from the South, you just wouldn't understand. It just, you just got to understand that it's our, our culture and everything is uh, one of uh, mistrust for government. And um, I think that's what a lot of people, people are having a problem with. Now, I'm not saying don't take it. I'm not saying take it. But there are smart people that have not taken it. And there are smart people that have taken it. And so, uh, ooh, my mail's popping up. I didn't hit my uh, uh, do not uh, disturb button. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, anyway, it just, you got to figure out what you want to do. I mean, you know what? Hey, here's the best deal. Pray about it. Go to church. Say, I need some help making a decision. Anyway, uh, Ron Rivera, who is a cancer survivor, which means he's at high risk when it comes to COVID-19, so that he would like his players to get vaccinated. Uh, this led, okay, but here's the thing. Look, okay, this is where the media is failing everyone. Cancer survivor, which means he's at high risk when it comes to uh, the coronavirus. He would like his players to get vaccinated. But that's not... At some point, you got to pay for them vices. I don't understand what that means at all. But, okay, but corona, if he's taking the the jab 
then he doesn't have to worry about those players taking it. You see? Like, just because he's a cancer survivor has nothing to do with them taking being vaccinated. Those two points don't make sense. I mean, this is what the whole problem is here. You The... The conversation sounds ridiculous because people aren't using their educated minds to use critical thought and uh, uh, make a coherent statement based on the facts. Here's this guy. He's a cancer survivor. The fact he has he been vaccinated. We're going to assume yes. Okay, so that's a fact. So he why did you why did he get vaccinated? He could say I'm a cancer survivor. I'm at high risk of getting this. I wanted to be safe. He, he's a cancer survivor. Somebody else needs to get vaccinated. That doesn't count. Okay, that's not those two things don't correlate with each other. Now, if he said, "I'm concerned for their safety," I believe, or you know, I think this. That's great. But see, the writing of this is poor. This is uh, confusing, and it, you don't realize how confusing it is because you, you know, you're reading through it. It sounds good, but your mind hears it, and your mind's trying to work on it. Your mind says. Mm, this doesn't sound right. So a lot of people, that's just how they feel. There's just, uh, uh, this whole thing is weird. This is an example of stupidity in politics and this whole like uh, team, you know, it's my team's got to win. And if it's my team, then it's okay. I don't care if they cheated. You know, I don't want to hear about it, blah, blah, blah. When you got to realize the team that's losing is America and your neighbors and your family. You may not like somebody's uh, religion, their politics, or whatever else, but you sure do like, you know, that sandwich you ordered. And they're the ones who brought it to you, they're the ones who made it. There's, you just, it's called civility. Okay. If I went around and started hating on everybody who didn't like the color orange, well, there'd be a very small group of people left that did like the color orange. And then, then that group would probably be like, well, the half of them probably like that brown orange, which is stupid. That's a stupid color of orange. I, yeah, those people suck. Okay? So now we got the, the cool orange kids and the uncool orange kids. And we're just breaking down, breaking down. It's, you will always have two sides. It's what brings balance. That doesn't mean... That those two sides cannot achieve a common goal. <sighs> Which we don't, what's our goal? Our goal should be mm, did China deliver this to us? Okay, we've well, got to eradicate that problem right there. We cannot have China bring us any more stuff. What's happened there? Where has that communication breakdown happened? Anyway, sorry. Uh, let's finish this up. Ron Rivera has canceled already right did that. Ward also said uh, Rivera needs to expect. Res- expect responsibility so I'm not sure we need vaccine advice from Ward what hold on I missed that what for example former NFL player TJ Ward basically blaming Washington coach Ron Rivera for getting cancer after Rivera expressed his frustration only 50% of his team getting vaccinated what? I don't understand. It's maybe I'm the one who's dumb here. Ah, it probably is. Oh well. Uh, see, I've ran many times on SI uh, podcast about the abundance of streaming services. My preference for cable. It's good to see Gianna's on my side. What? Did I skip everything? Ah, I think I did. Uh, I was, uh, oh yeah, there we go. We go from work. Okay, obviously some of you agree with Barkley. Uh, but I love uh, what I love about this take is that he doesn't seem to worry about the backlash. Yeah, Barkley never cares about backlash. How did I skip that? You guys got me distracted. Is what happened? Uh, near 70 months in the pandemic, we're still getting story after story about players either testing positive for COVID-19 or refusing to take the vaccine. Of course, this then leads to cycles and cycles of arguments about the safety and effectiveness of vaccine orders. All right, there we go. And there's the TJ Ward comes in. The team, blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay, and then he goes off and talk about other stuff. All right, I'm sorry. I see this is what happened. You read a live art, uh, thing. Well, again, this goes back to it's not written very well. And I'm sorry, 
But that sucks when you don't write very well. But you know what doesn't suck? Tina from Scottsdale. Oh, we remember you getting arrested, Charles. That was a great moment. That was a great moment in uh, history right there. Hey, he wasn't getting caught with no uh, uh, chick from San Antonio. That's for sure. Listen, y'all. Need a, I need you to like me because I am a, uh, I'm a fragile, fragile eggshell. I need likes. <laughs> I need subscribers. I gotta get, we got to get this algorithm going. Let's have some fun. Let's do some stuff. I'll be back here later on. We get some more SEC stuff. Nonsense, I think. Nonsense. But anyway, uh, love y'all. Peace out. Be good to each other. Godspeed. I don't know how to stop this thing. There we go. Love you. Bye.